Hello everyone, Ron here back with another video. So today I will be reviewing the Gemini Jets April 2024 releases. Now I know I haven't done one of these in a while. I've been suggest I've been considering doing another another one of I've been considering making another release reaction um, for the past few for the past month now and. Um, I was planning on reviewing the February slash March releases, but I got caught up in other stuff, so I forgot. But, when the April releases came out and I saw what was there, I was I immediately thought that, yeah, I need to make a video on this. So, yeah. Um, also, if you might notice, um, this is not how, this is not the usual, this is not the usual recording set for release reaction. Um, I figured out how to screen record on my phone, so... This is basically what's gonna, this is basically the future of release reactions from now on. So, yeah. Um, other than that, I have nothing else to say. So, let's just, let's begin. So, starting off with the 1 400 releases, we've got an Air France Hop Embraer 190-100 STD. No livery of any kind, just the regular livery. It is $52. Here's the image right there. Since this is a Air France regional aircraft, and Air France is in Fran and, uh, France, I will not be getting this model. Moving down, we've got an Air India Express 737 MAX 8. Once again, in no, in no special livery, just the regular livery. This is $57. And here's the picture. A pretty nice livery on it, my, a pretty nice livery in my opinion. Once again, I will not be getting this. Now moving down, we have one of the highlights of this re of release reaction, in my opinion. We've got the Alaska Airlines Emperor E-175 in the um, in the uh, University of Washington livery, also known as the Huskies livery. Now I did end up I did go on this plane. I did fly on this plane um, during my Martin Luther King when I went to Oregon for Martin Luther King weekend. I and that uh, trip is on that trip is a uh, I ended up recording the trip and on and. That, um, is a, uh, I, and that trip ended up, uh, why am I struggling this, I'm struggling to explain this. I flew on this plane when I went to Oregon Martha King weekend, which just so happened to be the trip I, just so happened to fall in line with the trip, with my up, um, trip report uploading schedule. So that's on. So it's on YouTube now. Anyway, but the, however, this is 100, 400 scale. But here's the picture. I will not be getting this model, and it is fifty three dollars, by the way. I will not be getting this model, but I probably, but I will be getting the one to two hundred version that I'm hoping re will be releasing in the next month. In next month releases, which is May when I upload this video. Moving down, we've got an American Airlines Airbus A321 in the something I can't pronounce that word heritage livery. Which is fifty-seven dollars. Nice livery right there, but and there's a slight chance I might get it, but it's not likely. Um, it just depends on, just depends on uh, where my, just depends on how much money I have at the point. At the point. Moving down, we've got a Delta seven fifty-seven two hundred in the regular livery, which is fifty-nine dollars, and no winglets from what it looks like. I already have the 757-300 for Delta, so I'm, pro so I'm probably not going to get this. Yeah. So moving down, we've got the Air an Air Cargo Ev Everts McDonnell Douglas MD-83. Um, I actually have not heard of this airline until until now, so um, this is $57, and I'm probably not going to get this. Moving on, we've got a FedEx Boeing 777F, which is $68 in the FedEx Panda Express livery. Just has a panda on the front of the plane, so, yeah. Um, probably not, I'm also probably not going to get this, because I already have a FedEx aircraft. So moving down, we've got two KLM Boeing 777-300DRs. One of them is in the Orange Pride. Both of them are in the Orange Pride livery, and one of them has the flaps extended. So there it is. 
the not the not the one without flop the flops extended is uh sixty eight dollars and the one with is seventy one and moving down we've got a mexicana boeing seven three seven eight hundred which is fifty seven dollars that's a all right there it is right there I'm probably not gonna get this either and finally wrapping up the one to four hundred we've got a united seven thirty seven max nine now this could potentially be on my list for models for potential models that I might get because I haven't quite phased out the my I haven't quite phased out my uh, Daron United fleet yet. Still have about I think one more model left. So this uh, could very well be on my list of United aircraft that I might want to get, but something else could pop up. But yeah. We've moving down. We've got a Gemini Max, uh, one four hundred release. We got an, a Canada, an, a Canada Air Force Airbus A three thirty, which is sixty three dollars. I'm probably not gonna get this, but yeah. Moving on to one to two hundred, we've got a few interesting models. For starting off, we've got two Air India A three Airbus A three fifties. Once again, one with flaps extended, the other one with not. The one without is 179, and the one with is 187. Since this is a A350 and one's 200, I will not be getting this. Moving down, we've got three Alaska seventh, three Alaska aircraft. Two of them are the Salmon People livery, one, with, one without flaps, one with flaps extended. The one without is 111, and one with is 115. I'm also not getting this because I tend to already have this plane from NG and plus one two hundred. And now, f and moving down, we've got the Alaska A one seventy five in the Cougars livery. Now, this I am definitely gonna try and get because it's an E one seventy five, Alaska one seventy five, and yeah. So I'm definitely gonna try and get this. Um, just depends on where. Just depends on how much money I have by the time this releases, which will be on May 10th, I believe, in the year I up uploaded this video. So moving down, we've got another Canada Air Force, this time a Lockheed CC-130H Hercules, which is $108, and I'm not going to get this either. Moving down, we've got a Delta um, A3, Airbus A3, A3-2200, which is $111. Also not getting this. It's one to two hundred. We've got a Jet Two Seven Three Seven Eight Hundred, which is also one hundred eleven dollars. Also probably not getting. Also not getting this. We have a Trans uh, Trans Trans Avia A Three Twenty Neo. Also probably not getting this. We've got two UPS Boeing Seven Three Seven Six Three Hundred Freighters. One with optional. One with the optional doors open slash close configuration. Which I'm, which uh, I've only really seen these uh, options on the 747 freighter, so it's nice that it's expanding to other freighter aircraft. And finally, wrapping up the release, we have a WestJet 737-600. Nothing special, just in the uh, in the old livery. And yeah, so this really concludes the uh, release reaction. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to Ronin Aviation. Hit that notification bell to be alerted of all new Ronin Aviation, Aviation videos that will be uploaded in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you whenever I decide to upload a video. Bye!